I'm at School End, um, and I've been up here occasionally just to sort of check them, see how they're getting on. Uh, I spent more time actually, rather than the bees which are down there. Uh, this is the new nucleus colony place, um, <coughs> and I come up every couple of days. Uh, two orange box, one facing us, one facing off the left. I've got nukes in them, uh, swarms in them. Sorry and uh, they are doing extremely well and uh, they're taking something like two pints of uh, sugar which is in the white container uh, every day and i've come up today because i'm not going to be around next week i'm fishing in france so i thought i'd give my last top up and uh, when i came up here uh, day four yesterday i just drove around a big loop to go home and thought about the swarm boxes that i'd put out uh, I hadn't expected very much because it's been a very quiet swarming uh, year. But I thought I'd go and have a look at one of them, which is over here. And... Oh, can you see them in there? Here they come. There they are. If I try and zoom in, can you see them all in the entrance there? Loads of them. So I don't know how long they've been here, um, but they seem to be doing very well, as far as I can tell. Uh, they, the, the, the box is rather well, difficult to get to, it's brambles and all that sort of stuff. Whoa, and it's a bit of a steep slope. Um, however, as I think I said in the blog, the, uh, the top bar hive things become a minor problem in that I suppose I've picked up some bees for it couple of days ago but it didn't feel well enough to go down there so I didn't um, and uh, I've come up here now and thought well there's a swarm here why don't I put it in the top bar box which is what I'm gonna do now I can just leave them uh, for the week that I'm away and let them build up but there's something I want to try and do in advance of them going into the top bar hive so I'm just going to turn the camera off now and we'll see what we can do about it Okay, um, I've put a bit of smoke in there and they have calmed down a bit. I've lifted the, uh, the box off the tree, got it onto the, onto the ground. It's very heavy. Um, it is a heavy, crude type of box that I made, but it does seem quite heavy. Now, what I've done in here is that to help the bees, oh sweetheart, in again. Um, to help the bees along, I put a couple of frames in there to give them something to work on. The idea being is that once, um, you know, once they settled, uh, I can just lift the frames out and put them straight into a hive, and all, all is well and good. Trouble is, if this is going to go into a top bar hive, I can't do that because the frames are completely different. And I have done a blog about the top bar hive, um, showing the differences. Now, what I'm going to do is just take this off, and hopefully what I can do is I can put a couple of these things in. Now, these are the frames that fit inside the top bar hive and I put a little sheet of wax on there just to give them something to start on. Eventually they will build these beautiful curved sh shapes of wax. So what I'm thinking is if I can put the th a couple of these in here for now while they're getting settled in, I'll be gone for a week and by the time I come back hopefully they will have built these things out and I can just lift them up and put them in my beloved um, top bar hive. However, I don't know what's going on inside there. They've gone very quiet. I think they're waiting for me. So we'll just have a quick look and see. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Very wedged down. Oh, that's not good. 
that's very sticky. There's loads of bees and stuff on top of there, I suspect. Let's have a look. Oh, crikey. Oh dear, look at that. Look at that. Uh, I don't know if you can actually. Can you see all of that? That is a mass of bees. Absolutely huge, and it's full of honey and stuff in there. Right. Oh, look at that. Sorry, I'm getting a bit emotional here. Now, if I just try, hopefully this won't break. If it does, they're going to be so cross with me. Um, here, all of that there is brood. These are. Oh, it's, you see how delicate it is? And. Oh, crikey, crikey, crikey. Um, I'll just try and. Can you see in there? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, so. Boy, I have a bit of an issue here. Houston, we have a problem. Um, so, what am I going to do? Uh, panic possibly. What I'm going to do is move these frames along a little bit. Move that one to the back. I don't want to take these frames. I might try and take this one out so I can see what they've done. If I can without. They're very calm. I'm very fond of them already. Oh, come on, gosh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Crikey, that's really. Look at that. Look at that. They've been here for a while, and I just haven't bothered coming to look. There's masses of drone brood at the bottom there, so maybe my plan isn't going to work. Ah, sh sugar. Sorry, girls. That was almost inevitable. Okay. We'll put that back in there. I'm going to put this in. And let me build that one up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. And I'm going to put this one in as well. Squeeze it in. Right, okay, um, I'm going to push, push this one in as well, in the gap here, it means the lid won't close, oh sorry girls, oh dear, how am I going to do this, hmm, okay, I think we'll have to leave it like this for the time being, uh, I would like to put some more frames here, but I can't because of all of this. So I think I might just have to accept what I've got, which is two frames in there. Close this up. Go on, go in you go. And then come back in a couple of weeks, a week sorry, and see what's what. Blimey, that's what I call a swarm. Okay, to be I'm going to put the thing back up in the tree now and um, let them get on with things and uh, we'll see what things are like when we get back in a week's time.